Hey guys, this is Nathan again, coming at you guys with another devlog video. Uh, I believe this is like, what, our, our ninth, eighth one? I don't know, man. We've done so many devlog videos already, so uh, let's get right into it. Uh, I'm here with Topaz. Hey, guys. And I'm mostly here with uh, some people from the community of Birthright. Say what's up, guys. Send what's help. Up, guys? Hey, yeah, um, hi. All right, all right, yeah. As you guys can see, they're very, uh, they're very, very excited to play. <laughs> these weapons as you guys can tell um, all right so what we're gonna show you guys today the devlog it's all about combat all about the different weapons that we're introducing here right now as you guys can see from the the video right now this is the different weapons we have there is a crap ton and they all have and specialize and do you know different things within combat um so in birthright we did implement a weight system if you carry too much of one weapon uh or if you carry too much or too many weapons at the same time it actually significantly slowed down your character to the point where he can't move at all because he's burdened with a lot of weight uh we only added this to very special items and to weapons and armor the reason for this is because we want uh combat units to be specialized in certain areas we don't want someone that's like an archer to be like in the middle of a war be able to switch to uh, you know, being a swordsman and being able to switch their different uh, specialization within battle. We want to make sure that every person is, you know, put into a certain unit and they focus on being that unit and trying to uh, benefit their army by being that. Uh, so let's show you what we guys what we have here. What I'm looking at right now is the Iron Long Sword. This is basically what your your basic Minecraft vanilla Iron Sword would look like. It does, you know, uh, the base damage. It has no attack uh, speed reduction. Uh, and it also has a unique effect where you can you can bleed a, a character. Uh, the character, when it starts bleeding, it starts taking damage over time. We also have a broadsword, which actually has a slower attack speed, but also does more damage to compensate for that. We also have the wooden variants for those two weapons. Um, just, you know, for training purposes and whatnot. Uh, right here, we have the bow. It works as your vanilla bow. This right here, this is unique. We have a crossbow, actually. So let me pull out the crossbow. I can right-click here, which reloads the weapon. Uh, once server comes out, we will have a custom sound for the reloading. As you can see, the textures change, and now it is a loaded crossbow. And I can shoot the crossbow, and that does a lot of damage. But, you know, the, the slower reload speed compensates for that. What we have next here is we have the stone flail. And what that does is upon getting hit, this actually does extra damage to an armor durability, meaning that it can rip through armor a lot quicker than most weapons. Uh, so yeah, you just throw that like a regular fishing rod. Right here we also have the iron variant, which actually does more damage to the armor and more damage to players. Right here, you guys can see we have an iron halberd. The unique thing about this is it's actually a lot longer in game. And it actually has an increased attack range, as you can see. Uh, no, they're all in my party, so I'll show you guys later. But this actually has an increased attack range, something that's never been done before in any other Minecraft server. Uh, the default Minecraft attack range is three blocks, but with the Iron Halberd, I'm able to hit four blocks away. And we can actually, you know, create weapons later on that can hit five blocks away or six blocks away, you know? The, uh, the customization is really endless here at Birthright. Uh, also, the Iron Halberd, what it's used for, it actually does uh, horse damage. It does extra damage to horses. So uh, it's able to uh, rip through cavalry units pretty quickly. Um, we also have here the lance. And what the lance does is if you're on a horse and you are riding and you hit somebody else on another horse, it actually has a 25% chance of dismounting that person on the horse, which is good you know, for cavalry versus cavalry uh, uh, warfare. The next weapon we have here is the Iron Mace. It works similarly to the uh, the flails, except that it's not something that you can throw, but it does do uh, armor damage. Actually, has the most armor damage from all the weapons. Uh, its attack speed is 0 0.6 seconds, you can see here, and it also does about five damage, which is pretty good too if you want to rip through armor. We have here a stone hammer, and what a stone hammer is used for, it actually has a 5% chance of stunning the player, uh, making them move a lot slower. Uh, it's, a, it's a very weak weapon, but you know, um, through the different level blacksmithing or craftsmen that are able to create this, 
you do have the chance of increasing that stun percentage. So it can get a lot higher depending on who's making it for you. And that also works for all the other different uh, custom weapons. Yep, that's as well. a modifier. System. Correct. We also have a, a wood club, and what the wood club does is it actually just has the regular sweep attack. Uh, I can't show you guys at all in my party, but that just has the regular Minecraft default sweep attack. As you can see here, we have an iron spear, and that also has a chance of bleeding the enemy player that it attacks. It also has a longer range as well. Um, we have here a javelin, and you know that's basically a spear that can be thrown. We also have here an iron warhammer. And what the Warhammer can do is sweep attack, you know, it has a, a attack damage of 7 seconds. Uh, but the thing is, it sweeps, so it can hit everybody in a range. And it's also a, a slower attack range, just because you can hit multiple targets with this. We also do have an Iron War Axe, and what that does is that allows you to disable uh, enemy shields for a certain period of time. So if they're holding it out and I'm running towards them, and I left-click their shield, that would, uh, that would disable their shield. We also have a slingshot here, and this slingshot, you can reload it, shoot at people, and that stone projectile actually stuns them, similar to the uh, the stone ammo here. It has about a, uh, I believe, a 5% chance of stunning them. Uh, again, depending on who makes the, the weapon for you, their level profession, that, uh, that can get increased. We also have here one of my personal favorites, the uh, wood staff. Um, basically, what this does is it has the lowest damage of them all, but the attack speed is instant, it has an attack range of 4, and it can knock people uh, pretty far with the knockback. It has a knockback of 3. <clears throat> and then the, the final, actually, this is the only weapon that has a decreased attack range. Its attack range is only 2 blocks, but what it does, it has an attack damage of, uh, of 4. It has a, uh, the, bleeding, the bleeding effect, has a 3% chance to bleed someone. And soon we're going to add that if you're attacking someone from behind, it actually does a critical damage, and you can do up to 10 damage from behind. So, yeah, you do not want to get caught from behind being attacked by this. Anyhow, guys, so uh, that's the different explanations for these weapons. Uh, once, you know, the server releases, you guys can see its actual stats. We're going to be posting on the wiki updating the, the different stats as well. So hopefully you guys are able to plan out different strategies with different weapons, you know, different units. Uh, again, like I said from the beginning, we really want to specialize in different units. You know, we have the swordsmen, we have pikemen, we have um, paladins, pikemen. knights. Exactly, we have we have pikemen that go against cavalry. We have cavalry that goes against cavalry. We have pikemen that go against soldiers. You know, and we're also going to be adding in uh, unique siege weapons that we'll show you guys in the next devlog video. That also will spice up you know war and how uh, wars in Minecraft are, uh, are are battled. But Anyhow, guys, so that's all the explanations. Right now, we brought out the Birthright community to show you guys uh, some little PvP paddles with uh, the custom weapons. So, uh, what's up, guys? You guys can talk now. Words. All right. Words. <laughs> this awkward silence here. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. Uh, if you guys want to come over here, you pick up the armor that you guys want to use, and we'll we'll get started here. All right. Should I get all the different kind of weapons? Type of armor. What? I can't open these. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. Did someone lock it? Oh, I I can't open it with something in my other hand. Alright, wait, can I get all weapons? Uh, no, no, let's try to limit it. Uh, if you want to pick up a weapon, try to limit it to only two weapons per fight. So don't try to stack up on everything. Mm, that's hard. It's a hard decision to make. I think I'm going to go with the crossbow. And I'm gonna go with normal bow. I'm sorry, crossbow. I loved you a lot, but I don't want to do the reloading because I crossbow have to stand. Crossbow and wooden staff. Those are my two picks right now. All right, I'm using crossbow and iron long sword. Oh, also, as you guys can see, uh, some weapons are actually two-handed. So as you can see here, uh, the crossbow I'm holding is two-handed and the wooden staff is two-handed, as you guys can see in the lore. So right now, I have a shield in my in my left hand, meaning yeah. I can't actually wield the, the staff or the crossbow. But the second I take that shield down, I'm able to wield them because, you know, they are they are two-handed weapons. They require both hands to operate. I so should, that also... That I should also, also tell you that... Uh, <laughs> I should also tell you that the bow can be used as one-handed right now, but it will be fixed in two. Uh oh, is it one-handed right now? Yeah. 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's going to be changed to two-handed. Basically, the weapons that, you know, would realistically be two-handed is what would be two-handed. But, um, all right, guys, let's see here. Topaz, if you and your team want to uh, go to a separate party, we can get some PvP going on.